Okay, uh, in your uh, uh, Google search, you can find all the programs are from, uh, all the questions are from uh, this uh, hacker rank. Okay. Let's find the hacker rank. Hacker rank, we are in the AF section. Late, Nana, just a question is that on the, if you uh, copy and paste it in your Google search, you will be getting it. Multiple links, uh, links you will be getting. And from that, uh, the solution is uh, given from hacker rank mostly. Okay, questions and solutions, both explanation as well for each program how you need to execute it and what is the process uh, that particular program to under, uh, need to undergo. Everything has been explained. Okay. 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 If you have, if you still don't, uh, can't find solutions for them, you can uh, just mail me. Okay. I have, sir, I have just uh, tried to find out just randomly, but I got all the answers for uh, your first module. Uh, questions, complex questions. Okay. Just okay. try it once. Hmm? Okay. So, shall we start the class today? <laughs> Still, anyone is uh, going to join? Arun? Banu? Where were you people uh, from these many days? Huh? No, ah, yes, Banu, Arun, what happened? Why you were uh, not attending the classes? But no, no, all the syllabus, everything uh, from uh, your third unit is uh, coming to end and you are not able to get what have uh, what I have explained. See, uh, please go through the links of the classes which I have, uh, which we have shared, okay, in your, uh, in our bulletin board and go through the classes, okay. And if you have any doubts in that, I'll uh, try to explain, okay. Okay. Nice. I'm from Manga Notes online or offline. Uh, no idea about it. I don't know. I think you'll be getting intimation about that one as well. Okay. Uh, so next topic we are having in dictionaries is uh, dictionary comprehension. Okay. So uh, uh, till now we have seen list comprehension. Dictionary uh, set comprehension and tuple comprehension. Okay, the data structure next we are having is dictionary. And today we'll be seeing dictionary comprehension and uh, uh, built in functions in dictionary and next dictionary. Okay, these are the three topics we'll be uh, seeing about today in today's class. Okay, so how you'll be uh, performing comprehension on a dictionary? Okay, uh, dictionary comprehension, uh, we can uh, uh, do in way, what we can do is we will be creating a new dictionary from the annotable. Okay, and this particular dictionary comprehension consists of an expression pair, wherein that is, uh, as we are having in dictionary keys and values as pairs, okay, it will be consisting of expression pair. And uh, with that pair, it will be followed by a first statement inside the curly braces okay see uh, you are uh, able to see the example right the below example 
okay uh, this example uh, where we are trying to perform dictionary comprehension it is nothing but we want to uh, find out that is each item if it is one one square uh, those are those will be the key and values okay if we are trying to uh, uh, perform dictionary comprehension before that how the program can be run uh, you uh, just see that program okay before performing comprehension and uh, after performing comprehension on the dictionary both the ways uh, there is the code okay just see that one. Are you able to see the program? Without using comprehension on the dictionary. Okay. Let us suppose that there is a dictionary which we are trying to create a squares okay and in that uh, you want to insert keys and values which are of squares okay if suppose uh, the key uh, key is one its square should be its square will be one that is the value will be one if the element that is the key element is two its square should be that is its value should be four okay that is the uh, program about okay see the output for, for that one let's run it okay see now okay here is the dictionary which we have created for squares okay without using data co uh, dictionary comprehension next the same program if we want to use it use comprehension on it this will be done in this way okay simply we can say uh, we can do in this way in single line we can give in this way okay in single statement we can give whole for loop okay and the output for this one would be same. Got it? Are you able to see the screen? Number? Yes. Okay. There is no difference, right? In the output. This, this program, it shows without uh, performing comprehension on the dictionary. And the other one is with performing comprehension on the dictionary. Okay clear why we'll be using comprehension on all the data structures okay nana okay next Okay, next. Next, we are having is built in functions. Nana, okay, what are the built in functions we are having in dictionary? First one is all. Okay, second one is any, third one is length, and uh, fourth one is compare, and fifth one is sorted. Okay, these are the main building functions we'll be using in dictionary. Okay, what does these functions do? Okay, all, whenever we are using uh, this particular function all, it returns, the, it returns true if all the keys of the dictionary are true. Okay, or if the dictionary is empty. And next one, any, this particular method or function, it returns true if any of the key of the dictionary is true. And if the dictionary is empty, it returns false. 
Okay. Next is length runner. Length, when we'll be using it? You are I'm seeing from list. Now? Your voice is good, man. Unless internet is not good, I think. Okay, okay, fine. Because I didn't unmute myself, so I got that. Okay, man. See, okay? You are clear with the example where I have given for dictionary comprehension, right? Next, we are having a dictionary built-in functions. Okay. Ma'am, we can't see screen, ma'am. Screen. Now? No, no ma'am. No. Okay. Wait. Now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Fine. Okay. See now. Dictionary built-in functions. First, uh, these built-in functions you are seeing from first data structure a list, right? So what does all do? All. All function. It returns true if all the keys of the dictionary are true. Okay? That is nothing but if all the keys of the dictionary are present, then it will be returning true value. Okay? Any function, it will be returning true if any key of the dictionary is true. Okay. And length function, it will be returning the length in the dictionary. That is nothing but the number of items which are present in the dictionary will be returned. Okay. Next, CMP. Okay. This function is nothing but it will be comparing two dictionaries. Okay. That is the items which are present in the dictionaries are compared to each other. Okay. And this particular CMP is not available in Python 3. That's the reason uh, we'll not be using this. Okay. In the in 3.0 version of Python. Next one is sorted. Okay. This sorted function, it will be returning a new sorted list of keys in the dictionary. Okay, so these are the main built-in functions which are present in dictionary. Next is a nested dictionary. What is nested? Okay, nested dictionaries are nothing but a dictionary which can contain dictionaries. Okay, that is called as nested dictionaries. Nana. Let's see the example for nested dictionary. Okay. Are you able to see this one? How to create an Esther dictionary? Are you able to see this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, see. In this particular program, what we are doing, we are trying to create a dictionary that contains three dictionaries. Okay. First is of child one. Next, we, uh, my in one dictionary that is in my family, it is again consisting of three dictionaries. One is of child one, one is of child two, and another one is of child three. Okay. This way of uh, creating a particular dictionary is nothing but a nested dictionary, okay? A dictionary 
which consists of number of dictionaries is nothing but a nested dictionary. Okay. See, this is the output you'll be getting. Okay. In child one, you'll be getting its name, name, year, okay, and their values. Here, name and year are its keys, and ML and 2004 are its values. Okay. And again, there is child two dictionary. In that, again, we are having name and year keys, okay, and their values. Same as, same with child three as well. Okay. This is how you'll be creating a nested dictionary. Okay. Whenever you want to create a dictionary inside a dictionary, then you need to uh, do it in this way. Okay. There is another example as well. I'll just show you. Okay. Here, what we are doing, this program is different from the previous one, Anna. In previous one, what we have done, we have created a dictionary that consists of three dictionaries. Okay. Here, in this particular program, what we are doing, we are creating three dictionaries, then create one dictionary that will contain all the other three dictionaries. Clear? Got the idea different uh, between... Uh, uh, the difference between these two programs, Nana? In first program, we have created a dictionary and inside that one, we have created three dictionaries. Okay? But in this particular example, which I am showing to you, we are first creating three dictionaries. Okay? Then we are creating one dictionary that will contain all the other three dictionaries. Okay? This is how we will be doing. First, you will be creating one dictionary that is child one, child two, and child three. After that, we'll be creating a dictionary wherein it will be containing all the three dictionaries which we have uh, created priorly to it. Okay. Shall we execute this one? See. The output which we have got is same, right? Same as the previous program. Are you able to see the screen, Nana? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you got the difference between uh, these two uh, programs which I have created? Yes, right? Okay, see. In this uh, uh, first program, which is to the right, first I have created a dictionary and inside that one, I have created three dictionaries. Okay, and the... Uh, program which is to the left side. First here I have created three dictionaries and next I have created a dictionary which consists of all the three dictionaries which I have created prior. But the output which we are getting for these two is same. Okay. Are you clear Nana with these topics? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, next, uh, yesterday I told you, right? I'll show the example programs for all the uh, built-in functions as well as operations. Okay, let's see them. If you want to create a duplicate of a particular dictionary, you can do in this way, Nana. Okay? First, you can create a dictionary. Yesterday I told you, no, uh, this example I have explained, right? Year, previously it will it is consisting of 1964. Its value is, okay? The key year, is con its value is 1964 previously. Okay, now if uh, I uh, the duplicate values, what we'll be doing? It will be overwriting the existing value. Okay, that is nothing but 1964 will be replaced or overrided with, overwritten with 2020. Okay. So. C 
sí. Year has been uh, replaced. No, no. Its value 1964 has been overwritten by 2020. Okay. That's how you can replace the duplicate values by overwriting the existing values. Next, you are having update. If you want to update a particular dictionary, which consists of some values, okay? What, how you can do that? One second. Okay, see. Original uh, dictionary which we had was, okay, it consists of brand, model, and year. Okay, and the values of them are brand value is Ford, model value is Mustang, and year value is 1964. Now, I want to add a new item into the original dictionary. Okay, that one would be color. Okay, and that uh, its value I have given is a white. Okay, so now let's check whether this particular key and value have been updated in the original dictionary or not. Okay. Is it updated? This is the original dictionary which have which we have created, and this is the updated dictionary which we have uh, created now. Okay. And if you want to know the values of that one, you can simply give car dot values. Okay. Then you'll be getting values as well. If you give items, uh, car dot items, both the keys and values will be displayed. Okay. As I told you, if you give values here, got it right? Okay, Nana, this is about your uh, dictionary concepts. In dictionary, we have discussed about dictionary's definition, how you will be accessing a dictionary elements, whether you want to update it, add it, or delete it or modify it, okay? And next you are having dictionary uh, operations, dictionary built-in functions, nested uh, dictionaries, and last one was nested dictionary, uh, sorry, di dictionary comprehension. Okay, with this, uh, your uh, third unit gets completed, that is third module of your uh, Python program gets completed. And uh, can anyone please tell me, um, from all these uh, data structures which we have seen in your third unit, what is the main difference between all these data structures? And when, how can you decide when to use which data structure? Any idea about it? Yes, guys have these many data structures right how can you how and when you will be deciding which data structure you need to use when and what is the difference between all these four data structures that is list um, cupel sets and dictionaries okay can anyone give me the answers for these two questions Yes, ma'am.
Yes, are you there? What you people are doing? Ma'am. Ma. Ain't you shipping a difference? Hmm? Can you... can't no, I'm not. Uh, uh, yes, you are saying the difference between uh, all the data sources, between list, no. tuple, no. that. Um. List and tuple, ma'am. Okay. What is a list and what is a tuple? We use list and tuple to store values, ma'am. We use a tuple over list because tuple is fast and it is uh, unchangeable. In larger uh, data types, tuple is very useful. I mean, and dictionary used to store keys to values. Okay, you said that we we we, we prefer uh, tuples over list because it is faster. What makes it faster? See, if, uh, as I said, once we have created a tuple, which consists of certain items, they, if their values are fixed, their values are fixed, right? Okay, in, at that time, instead of using lists, which are changeable, if we use tuple, it will be helping us to uh, execute the values faster, right? Okay. Ma'am, your voice is off, ma'am. Okay, sorry. Uh, when we can, or how we can identify which uh, data structure to use when and how? How? Based on? The question and uh, what we need. Okay, see. Uh, uh, write down these points, Nana. It will be useful for Yes, every uh, look on your operations now. We have all any atlantic any man common gun it lalo use chest. But the thing is, list a produce chali, uh, dictionary a produce chali, tuple a produce chali, and sets a produce chali, and every uh, that is common question for everyone. So the answer for it would be use list to store a collection of data that does not need a random access. Okay. If you want, uh, you can write down the points. No, no. Write down. When to use which data structure? Write down these points. When to use which data structure? And to use which data structure? First, use a list. Use a list. Use a list to store to store a collection of data. To store a collection of data that does not. that does not need a random access that does not need Ma'am? 
डॉक्टर मैम एग्जिट है पर रा वीडियो लांच है रांधर वीडियो लांच है री फिजिक्स लैब वर्कशीट सांदर सबमिट चेस सर अरे मितेश नरे होड ओस्ट इस करन गए ना कुछ तो सर टॉप पर है उनसे कॉल है ना वो उनसे कॉल इपन क्लास no ma'am on chapna ali chapna okay write down the first point when to uh, write down the heading when to use when the to which use data that. structure ma a point chapali first point type in ma'am use first after point list. type in the okay second point write down use list use list if the if the data has to be modified use list if the data has to be modified if the data has to be modified frequently frequently next third one use a set use 
a set if you use a set if you want to ensure use a set if you want to ensure if you want to ensure that every element that every element in the data structure in the data structure must be unique if every element in the data structure must be unique must be unique okay fourth point use tuples use tuples or tuples use tuples when you want when you want want your data your data to not be altered to not be altered okay ma'am to not be the altered change cheyakko change cheyaddu anukunnapudu okay altered A L T E R E D. Ma'am, first point lo need random access tarvath karte. Random access ante. Okay. Okay na. No? Mm. Next, uh, list versus a tuple versus set versus dictionary. List versus tuple versus dictionary versus set are you writing nana yes ma'am okay write down uh, tuples are less tuples are less which cannot be edited tuples are less which cannot be edited while tuples are immutable while tuples are immutable lists on the other hand are mutable lists on the other hand are mutable this on the other hand are mutable hence they can be easily edited hence they can be easily edited as tuples have fixed size as tuples have fixed size you cannot add or delete items from it as tuples have fixed size you cannot add or delete items from it but you can easily add or delete item elements in a list but you can easily add or delete elements in a list then na due to the mutability due to the mutability difference to the mutability difference tuples are easier tuples are easier tuples are easier on memory and processor 
on memory and processor on memory and processor in comparison with in comparison with lists in comparison with lists that is that is you can easily you can easily achieve performance you can easily achieve performance optimization you can achieve performance optimization by using tuples by using tuples wherever possible by performing ma'am repeat once again ekka nunchi ma last last ah uh, that is you can easily achieve performance optimization by using tuples wherever possible moreover moreover tuples are best used as tuples are best used as heterogeneous heterogeneous collections heterogeneous collections while lists are while lists are best used as homogeneous collections homogeneous collections okay next point nana it's the difference between uh, your sets and dictionary okay sets are used to store sets are used to store unordered values sets are used to store unordered values unordered values and do not have index and do not have index next point unlike tuples and lists unlike tuples and lists sets can sets can have no duplicate data sets can have no duplicate data however however like lists and like lists and unlike tuples like this and unlike tuples you can use the add function you can use the add function to add an element to add an element to a set to a set and the update function and the update function and the update function to edit to edit the elements in the set to edit the elements in the set 
okay next dictionary next point dictionary is used dictionary is used to store dictionary is used to store key value pairs dictionary is used to store key value pairs its concept its concept and usage its concept and usage is absolutely different is absolutely different from that of from that of list tuple list tuple or set or set full stop dictionaries are best data structures dictionaries are best data structures for frequent lookup operations for frequent lookup operations Okay, Nana. Clear with all the key points from third unit. Any doubts, Ma? Yes. Everyone have noted the points, right? Yes, Ma'am. Okay, Ma. With this, your third unit will be completed. And in next classes, uh, we'll uh, see uh, the question bank questions which you have doubts with. Okay, clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Uh, Vinay, please send me the attendance number after the class. Okay. Ma'am, say them to uh, don't leave the class for one minute. Say them to be now. I will take now. Okay, okay. Say fine. them to be for one minute. Okay, okay. Yes, ma. Vinay is taking the. We'll take the attendance, please. And Satish, note down the attendance as well, Nana. Okay, everyone, please give attendance to Vinay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, fine. Your sir has come. Next, whose class you are having, Nana? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sir. Uh, Vinay okay. will be taking the attendance, and then. Uh, Okay, you can continue the class. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bye guys. Take care. Okay, bye. Yeah.